Hey everyone, how's it going? So if you didn't hear, they just released news on the next Diablo game coming out. And I don't know about you guys, but I am extremely excited about this. I cannot wait for that game to come out. So in honor of the news coming out, I want to show you guys how to draw one of my favorite characters from the game, and that is the Witch Doctor. So to draw our Witch Doctor, I'm going to start right here, and I want to draw a line that goes down and then up like this for a check mark. Then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now right underneath here, I'm going to make a little line that just curves up, and another little line that just curves up like this. Then right above here, I'm going to draw a line that goes up and down, and then a line that goes up and down. Now there's lots of different masks that the Witch Doctor can wear, so I'm just going to go with kind of one of the basic ones. Now starting here, you want to make two lines that just go down for the nose, and then two lines inside of it like this for the nostrils. I'm going to start right here and draw a line that goes down and then curves up towards the eyes, and then do the same thing on this side. Then starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that goes out. I'm going to curve it down and like a smile, and then come back to here. And then right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to go down and then back up for the chin. And then just a little curved line right here for the lips. Now above the eyes here, I'm going to draw two lines that just go up. And then I'm going to curve a line just to connect it. Then right up here, I'm just going to make a kind of like a rectangle shape. Now on each side of the face, I'm going to draw two lines that just come down. And then I'm going to kind of curve them out a little bit. And then I'm just going to bring them back up and then in. I'm just going to go up and then in for the mask. Then I'm just going to draw a long line that goes down and comes back up like a V shape. And then inside of here you want to draw a line that goes up, down, down, and then back up like this. Then I'm just going to draw a little diamond shape in there. Now, starting on top of the mask, he's got like another face on here. So starting right here, I'm just going to draw a line that goes up and then out, up and out on this side. Line that goes down and in, another line that goes down and in. Little line that goes up and then comes back down for the eyebrows of the mask. And then a little line that goes out and in out and in on each side and then you just want to add some little kind of curved lines underneath it then I'm gonna draw two lines up and I'm gonna make kind of like a pointy oval shape on each side and then a little bump on the top Then I'm going to add some little kind of horns coming out of each side. And then I'm going to put some more on the top. Now, coming out of the head here, he has some big horns. So starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go out, down, and then over. Same thing here, out, down, and over. Then a line here, it's just going to curve up, go down, and over. Line here, it's going to curve up, go down, and then over. And then I'm just going to make a line that's going to go out, and then kind of curve back in like this, 
And I'm going to kind of repeat this pattern just a couple times, and I want each one to get a little bit smaller. And then the last one, I'm just going to kind of curve it out like this. So then same thing on this side, just kind of go out, curve down, and then in. Then just repeat it a couple times. And then the last one, just going to kind of curve it around and in. He's got a really big mask on. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line. It's just going to go out and then curve back up. Same thing here, out and curve back up. And then I'm just going to put a little circle with another one inside on each side of here, just for like some earrings. Okay, now that we have the mask done, what we want to do is we want to work on the body. So, to draw the body, I'm going to start by just making an arm kind of come right out here. It's just going to go up, and then it's just going to curve down like this. Then I'm going to make another line. It's just going to curve up and then go down the same way. I'm going to draw kind of like a rectangle shape for like a little bracelet. And then for their hand, I'm just going to draw a little line. It's just going to curve down and it's going to come back like this. Then I'm going to draw a little line that curves out for his thumb. And then I'm just going to add a few other little fingers back here. Now over here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to curve down. I'm going to draw that rectangle shape right here because his arm's going to be up. And then I'm just going to make his arm come down and up like this. And then you want a little line right there. Now on this one, I'm just going to draw a, his thumb kind of sticking out right here. And then I'm going to draw his hand out here, so I'm going to make his other finger kind of come out here like this. Then I'm going to draw another finger back here, and then one more here. Then, inside of here, I'm just going to put one of his famous little frogs. So I'm just going to draw two circles. Two little dots for eyes. Two little lines for a mouth. And then I'm just going to draw two little curved lines and a little line in between. A little line that goes up and down with a couple little toes on it for the toes of the frog, or the toad I should say. Another one right here with some little toes on it. And that's one of his famous little toads that he throws. Now for the body, I'm just going to make two lines come down like this. Then I'm going to make him go a little bit past the mask. And for his belt, I'm just going to draw two lines in. I'm going to draw a little circle shape on it. And then I'm just going to put some little bumps on it for some teeth. Then I'm just going to draw a line that goes kind of down like a square shape. It's going to go around this line just for his belt. Then I'm just going to make a little kind of diamond shape there. And then right in between it, I want to draw some kind of like a raggedy looking old piece of cloth. Now for his legs, I'm just going to draw a line. It's just going to go out and then it's going to come back in like this. 
Same thing, draw a line out, and then I'm just going to draw a line down. Same thing over here, out and then down, out and then down like this. Two little curved lines on the end of the legs. And then starting right here at the leg, just going to draw a line down, curve around, and then come back up. Same thing here, down on each side, and then curve it. Then for his feet, I'm just going to draw a line of curves down. It's going to come around and back up. And then same thing here, line goes down, it's going to curve around, and then come back up. Draw a little line right around the bottom. And then I'm just going to put some extra little lines on here just to make it look like it's kind of been wrapped up. I'm going to draw a few little spikes on his little kind of like ankle bracelets here. And then for some more details, I'm going to just draw two little eyes on his little skull belt, put some little lines around the eyes, give it like a nose. You can draw extra little details on the belt too, put some squares and rectangles in here. Up here on his mask, I'm going to start on this big pointy one right here, and I'm just going to draw a line that goes down and then over. And then do the same thing on this one, just to show that this, these parts are metal. Everything else on here, I'm going to add some of these kind of broken lines on all these other ones, just to kind of make it look like it's made out of wood. Same thing on all of these, just kind of make broken lines on it. Just kind of help it give that like wood texture. And the same thing on those horns. Even on this mask up here, just going to draw some little long broken lines. Put a little triangle shape on each side of here. Then even on this mask, I'm just going to kind of draw some little broken lines all along here just to show it's kind of been carved and created. And those bracelets, you can kind of add some extra little details and designs, put extra little things on each one. I'm going to give him some little kind of decorations on his legs here. Some extra little things. And then one of the last things I want to do is around his mask, I want to add some of the feathers. So to draw a feather, I'm just going to draw a curved line. And then I'm just going to make some kind of pointy lines that kind of go all the way around it. And I'm just going to kind of put these all around his mask. I'm going to put a couple of them down here too. And then you just kind of make these little pointy lines all the way around to make the feathers look kind of realistic, kind of have them going all over the place. And then you want to put a couple out here. Kind of have them come down here too. And there you go. There is your drawing of the Witch Doctor from Diablo. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.